Hey guys, what's up? It's Electronic Hacks. Today we're going to do a review or a first look at Android 4.4 4, uh, through, through CyanogenMod Mod 11 uh, for the LG Optimus L7. So as we know, this is an entry-level smartphone. I believe it is just around 1 gigahertz processor, um, uh, 400 or 500 megabytes of RAM, 512 maybe, um, but only 400 available for system. And, well not powerful it's an entry-level smartphone and right now we are booting for the first time Android 4.4 if you're curious on how to install this just check the description for the uh, download link and of course you do need uh, clockwork mod recovery or your custom recovery uh, for this phone so you will need to install it first in case you do need help doing that there are other great users on YouTube that will teach you how to do it and I'll even put a link to one of their videos uh, teaching you how to install Clockwork Mod um, but let's say after you've done that it's pretty easy just flash a ROM through the SD card I'm pretty sure the video should teach you or not I'm not sure but because um, I actually didn't see it yet uh, but I'm pretty sure it should if it doesn't it's pretty self explanatory explanatory it installs it from SD card um, alright so we're just waiting for this to boot it's gonna take a little while first boot uh, and well you know what feel free to just continue watching or just skip ahead a little bit uh, one thing that if you're still watching <laughs> one thing that uh, you can see is that the logo is the old Android logo or not the old one the the open source one it's not the uh, CyanogenMod mod or I don't know why I didn't put their own logo in there, but this is the Android logo, basically. So we're just, we're just going to give this a little bit of time. Um, one thing I did to this was I installed a Flash of ROM and I already flashed the Google apps onto this. So it, you know, uh, the first boot you're going to see Google, like Google Play and maybe Google Maps, I'm not sure, but Google Play on there is going to be for sure. Uh, but if you install it, make sure you flash both of them so that you can use it. All right, here, we're mostly done booting up or my screen just timed out. <laughs> uh, we're going to, there we go, see, so some things, the battery icon starting to come up. Um, it's going to take a while. Yeah, you can see that. I mean, I guess uh, the first boot, they did warn that it's going to take a while. All right, here we go. Here we go. You, um, English. You know what? I'm in Canada, so I'm going to choose that one. And I'm going to wait as it does its thing. Uh, you know what? This is starting to remind me of the, uh, uh, the, the slow speed of the, of the other versions of Android for this phone. But one thing I want to let you know is that... When I actually try, I actually tried it before I installed it. Right now, I tried it to make sure it worked first before I factory reset it, and um, it was pretty fast. It ran a lot faster than I expected, and you'll see that in a moment, or just a sec. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. So, while we're there, so there's nothing here. <laughs> So just tune in or just skip ahead. All right, all right, all right okay. Let's log into my Wi-Fi here. Um, you know what? Oop. Let's. Use wireless push, wireless protective setup, so I don't have to show you my pin. Hopefully it works. There we go. All right. So another second of waiting. So we're off to a bad start, but you know what? I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little better after. Got Google. Yes, I do have a Google account. Let's log in. Alright. So, 
So, let's see. Um, upgrade to Google Plus? No, thank you. You said no, thank you. Okay. All right, let's see what there is. So, Google services, see what we have this time. Uh, backup and restore, I'll zoom in a little for you guys. Backup and restore, location, you know, that, that other stuff. Yeah, okay, all right. Restoring, what account do I even have on there to restore? Okay, sure. Whatever, here we go. Setup complete. All right, let's take a look at what the system has to offer. Um, so this is welcome, make yourself at home, create more screens and apps or in folders. Okay, let's click okay. Um, organize your space. You know, I'm actually looking at a black screen. I don't know if you guys can see a background. Oh, actually there is a little background. Okay, well, all right, so here is our beloved, um, maybe Google Experience Launcher, not sure. I guess, I guess so. All right, um, so let's take a look at what this system has to offer. As you can see, we do have our browser, our calculator, our, you know, you can see it, but let's open up our browser here. So it, it does seem a little bit snappier than, uh, than the original ROM that came with this phone. So this seems to be working pretty good, but I do know that, yeah, like this, it does glitch up at times, so if you're going to use a browser, you might as well just use uh, Google Chrome and see how it goes. Not exactly sure. Uh, let's take a look at cal um, you know what? Let's look at camera because that's something that changed. Um, as you can see here, let's say yes, sure, use photo locations. As we can see, we do have um, the Nexus 4, or so called the different camera app that looks more like the Nexus course camera um, with the menu and all that other stuff right all that other goodie um, take picture we also have let's see what modes we have here we do have camera we do have video camera we do have panorama uh, let's try video camera here oh you know what it crashed all right well maybe it works maybe it doesn't we don't know uh, you guys can try it out so you can check the thread see how it goes of course we do have the other stuff let's take a look at messaging because that looks it might change up a little bit. So right, so this is the, um, let's zoom out a little bit. So the one that has been included in Android for quite a while now, um, normal, normal messaging, you know, nothing different. Um, what about gallery, gallery, no gallery, it's the same thing. Uh, people. So this has been included, I think, um, even in the last version of Android, Some, something like this, not a big change, right? Uh, what else is there that I can show you? Phone, right, that's a big change in what it normally looks like, even from the last step of Android. As you can see here, we can, I uh, don't know if you can see this. You can see a big crack on my screen, but other than that, type a name or a phone number, and you can even use your voice search on this. So that's pretty cool. Favorite contacts, all contacts, and your dialing pad, right? Pretty cool, pretty neat. Um, Add a two second pause, wow. Add wait, I don't know what that, I don't know what that is, but that's pretty cool. Okay, all right, um, let's see what else there is. Uh, phone settings, you know what, I think we should look through settings. That seems important for some of you. Um, of course, we do have the normal settings for the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage, and all that other goodies. Oh, look, we get to choose our default SMS app, but I'm pretty sure you could have done that. Um, in older versions of Androids. Themes is part of CyanogenMod, so I wouldn't say it comes with 4.4. And one thing I actually have seen is that there is printing on this now, right? So you can use Google Cloud Print, and I think it is default. It's like Android just supports it at this point. Um, developer tools, launch tools, wow. I don't remember seeing that, but that's probably part of CyanogenMod again. Um, Wow, just gonna check that there. All right, uh, where is it? Oop. Android version, let's check out that little bug. Not that bug, that feet Easter egg. So as you can see here, we are running LG P700, um, 4.4 actually, Android 4.4. And although the Cyanogen mod version is unknown, we do know that it's probably 11 since their version 11 is going to be Android 4.4. Um, 
So what happens if I click on clicking this? Is this Easter egg thing gonna come up? Oh, well, it says K now. K. I guess I have to tap it. No, oh, or not. Or not. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's a pretty cool um, thing there. Android 4.4. Uh, Easter egg. So that's pretty much it. I have to go through uh, this phone. That's pretty much it. Um, I guess thank you guys for watching and my battery is running low already on my camera so I really can't continue. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, rate, and comment um, on this video and that would be amazing. Alright, see you guys later. Peace out.